welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Anshi Jain and today we will see how to load multi-period data in our data management. So let's get started. In DM, if we have more than one period, like for suppose I have created uh, the data over here, we have account, we have entity, we have amount, we have period and years we have, period we have of January, February, March, generally we take single period but in this video we will take multiple periods. So for this, we will do this through data management. So let's get started. We'll go to our application. So navigator, we will go to data management. We'll go to setup. Our source file is already created as a source file is spread, uh, spreadsheet as it is in the form of file, it will be file. Similarly, our target will is also created when console. So we need not create it again. Then we will go to import format. We will create, click on add. We will name the file as um, practice multi-period underscore IMF source file is source is our file that is correct target is wins console the file type will be delimited numeric data file delimiter will be comma and then we will save it now we will do the mapping account, we'll copy it and provide its field number, account field number, as we could see, is one, entity is two, and we will save. Then we will copy amount or we will map amount. Its field number is three. We will not give the expression as it is present in our file. Oh, its number is 23. Then we will map data source. Give the field number as two. And then we will write the expression FCCS underscore manage data. Click on save. Then we will map entity. Entity is on a number two. Yes, two. We will not use the expression. Then we will map form currency. Entity. entity currency enter company fccs underscore no enter company then we will map movement
FCCS underscore no movement. Then we will map multi gap. FCCS will provide expression as local gap. We will save it. And lastly, we will map the product. Product also two. We will write no product. Now, as we are doing the uh, mapping, uh, now as we are doing the multi uh, multi period in data management, we have no period and year dimension in our POVs. So we will add this in our import format. We will go to add source period row, and then we will add year. Similarly, we will again go to add source period row, and then we will add period, and then we will map it. Period in our uh, Excel sheet is is on the number. Its number is one, two, three, four. We'll save it. And year. Now we will map year. Year got deleted, so we will add again. Year. We will map it. And its field number in our sheet is five. We will save it. We will add this period and year from the import format and not from the target application in the second step. Now we will create the location. We click on add. Practice multi period underscore LOC. Now we will provide it the import format. Our import format is practice MP IMF. So uh, source is file target is win console. Functional currency and is entity currency and rest will be the same and then we will save it. Now after creating the location, here we will do the period mapping also. We will click on period mapping. We will go to source mapping. A source system is file. So we will click on file. And then we will add. Of course, we have to delete uh, these files already, uh, which are already created. Now we will go to add. Our period is Jan 15 to March 15. Therefore, we will select the period accordingly. My Jan 15. This is my Jan 15. I will click on it and click on OK. Calendar will be. We can uh, name it as name it as uh, Cal M M Cal. Year is two thousand fifteen. Period is January. And GL number period we can give it as one and then we will save it. Similarly, we will do it for uh, February and March. 
and we have if we have more number of uh, period, uh, uh, months then we can we will do with the same for the rest of the months february okay calendar will be same m cal gl year will be 2015 period will be feb gl period number will be 2 and then we will save it similarly for march march 15 M Cal. GL year will be two thousand fifteen. GL period will be March. GL period number will be three, and then we will save it. Now we will go to workflow, and then we will define our POVs. Our location was practice MPLOC. Period is January two thousand fifteen. Category will be action, and then we will click on OK. Now we will do the mapping. We will choose the like mapping. Account star source source value is star target value is star and then rule name as uh, P one or you can give any rule you want. We'll click on save. Then we will map data source. It's all it's system generated ma mapping. So we will just click on save. We will click uh, do the mapping of entity. Source value as star, target value as star, and rule name as P two. Save. Then we will choose from currency. Click on add. Source value, target value, P three. Then we will choose intercompany. This is also No, we will do mapping. Safe. Now we will uh, do choose movement. It is all uh, again. It is a uh, system generated. So we will just click on add. Multi gap is again system generated. So we will click on add. Safe. Product. We will do the mapping. Source value star, target value star, and then rule name will be P five. We click on save. Now we will go to data load rule. We click on add. We will name it as uh, practice multi period underscore. TLR category will be actual target cube will be console period mapping. Now, as we have done the period mapping here, we will change these from default. We will change it to explicit, and then we will provide here the calendar calendar which we have created in the period mapping. It's already there. M Cal. We will click on OK. Then we will give this import format. Our import format is practice MP IMF. We'll click on OK, and then we will save it. Now we will give our source file. We'll go to upload. Choose the file. Here my file is multi period, multi period data. Click on OK. Multi period data. Again, on click on OK, and then we will save it. Now we will execute it. Import from source. 
now we have start period is jan 15 but my end period will be march 15 because this is multi period import mode will be replaced and then we will run we will refresh it now we will go to data load workbench we could see i our data got imported and validated now we will click on export to see whether the process has run successfully or not we will click on uh, export mode and select replace and then we will click on okay it is getting processed we could see three golden fishes that means our process is completed now we can check it through smart view i've already created this smart view for the same now here my uh, and i've also defined the povs my uh, movement will be fccs underscore mpt fcs underscore net income i will click on refresh we could see here uh 15000 in the in the month of january because we have done the data load rule for the month of january now we will change here the pov from january to uh, february we will click on okay again we will do the export replace we we'll click on okay my three golden fishes are there now we will again see in the smart view it will show the figures in the month of february this is 30000 we could see from our uh, data multi period january amount is 15000 february amount is 30 and march is 45000 so 15000 uh, uh, 30000 uh, 15000 in the month of january 30000 in the month of february and uh, we will do the for the month of march also again we will click on export replace okay again i have got i got my golden fish third golden fish i will go to my smart view and then click on refresh we could see the 45000 in the month of march but we could also see negative figures for the previous month like 15000 negative in the month of february 30000 negative in the month of march this 15000 negative is for the month of january and this 30000 is for the month negative is for the month of february now how to remove uh, this negative sign we will again go to our application we will select the period as february because january ha has no negative figures we will go to february click on okay and then we i will go to data load mapping in data load mapping i will choose movement and define its target to fccs closing balance underscore input we will provide the rule name p6 and then we will save it then we will again go to data load rule we will 
run execute click on execute import from source start period february end period we will take it as march click on run and then refresh it we will go to data load workbench ex export replace click on okay now we will go to a smart view we will change our pov of net of movement to fccs underscore closing balance closing balance underscore input now when i will click on refresh we could see here 15 negative 15000 has been removed so this was the way to remove the negative 15000 or what we else we can do in the initial time period only when we are uh, mapping the um, dimensions in the data load mapping we directly uh, map the uh, movement dimension it's in target uh, into the fccs uh, closing balance underscore input similarly we will do for the month of march also and we can remove the negative figure of our march also thank you that's all for today for any queries please reach out us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you